Okay, so I think actually these dream catchers, I do like them. And I think that definitely does um, bring out what the whole day is about. So I think I'm going to do this and then I will just edit it a bit to actually, I've got an idea what to do. Let's move this to the side. Um, so I think I want to just remove that circle part because I actually think putting the wording in there is going to be very nice. So I think it's a little bit smaller. I actually do want the outside bridge going. Okay, so now I'm selecting it all. I have sliced. So now to just take the whole thing apart. Perfect. So I'm going to that there. Now obviously we need to make the wording smaller so it, it can actually fit in there. Just get this thing to focus. And I think that is perfect. Now I'm just going to attach it so we don't have it moving around. Just show you here. This is the basics, but I do know if you are new at this, then obviously this is no longer or is not yet basics for you. And I remember the time where I still had to try and figure all of this stuff out. Okay, so now we have our design. Now we're going to go back to our shirt. So we obviously have to measure out what sizing we want. I think the shirt is pretty dry. We use the acrylic. I don't know how long that is going to last. I don't think it is wash safe. Um, not 100% sure, but since this celebration is for one day, or the respects that we are paying is for one day specifically to wear this shirt, um, I'm not too bothered if we wash it actually and it comes out. So I'm just going to do this the lazy way quickly, just to get the dimensions of my shirt. So we have got it here at about, uh, let's say roughly one up to about 11 inches so I think if I had to go with this being about four let's say five inches anything between five and six inches I think would be so if you look at that to there I think that is a good dimension so it's literally you just go with your gut of what you feel would look the best I feel five to six inches would be perfect so let me just adjust this thingy. Okay, so the easier way probably is just make sure that it's selected. You go to your dimensions and wide. I think five is good. Let's start with the smallest so we can see what the height is. The height then becomes 13 inches. See that is where the problem could potentially lie. So if I had to measure out where my 11 inches would go, that's one, two, yeah, you see that is not going to work at all. So I'm going to make it smaller. Let's go to four inches wide. Then we are at 10, just over 10 in height. So then if we take it from here to there, that's a full shirt which I don't mind, but I just think it's going to... I'm not sure how wide would be then. So I'm gonna see if I can do three. Because I don't want it to be too high up, but I don't know, I just don't think it's gonna look as nice. So we have three and seven and a half, just over seven and a half. So three would be... Yes, I think that would be a nice sizing. Three and then seven. 
so that would be it which I think that is perfect actually so now I'm just gonna go get my vinyl ready to send it to my mat so you will notice my vinyl is a bit wider I've got about four to full length 12 inches here but since this is an off cut I'm gonna go ahead and first cut the item and then I will just trim it down with the excess that I don't need Okay, so that is where we are at, that is ready, just select maggot, everything looks good, and now just continue. Okay, my machine is on and connected now, I can select everyday iron on. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished the actual cutting on the Cricut and I've already done the weeding to save some time. Now I'm placing it on the shirt where I have in mind to have it or to put it. And I've got an easy press so I have gone ahead and just set that up to heat up for the press. I think it's going to look really, really nice actually. Okay, so our machine just beeped, it's ready to go. You just place it on your item, set your timer on 30 seconds, this is a normal cotton shirt, press firmly and you just let it do its own countdown. And done, let's see what this looks like. Very nice. I normally wait about five seconds before I peel, even though it's a warm peel, or a few seconds. Okay, so let's do the peel and see what it looks like. Yes, it's on. And there we go, that is our final result.